Welcome to A Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss an important past paper question on nuclear physics from October November 2021, paper 4, variant 1. In this question, we will discuss how to define radioactive decay constant and also we will discuss how to calculate radioactive decay constant for any given sample. For part A, question is asking us to define radioactive decay constant. It simply means that question is asking us to define what is lambda. Let's try to understand in detail about lambda. We will start from radioactive decay law or simply I can say we will start from decay law. According to decay law dn by dt this is directly proportional to n means the number of nuclei in the sample. If there are greater number of nuclei in the sample the rate of decay is faster. If there are less number of nuclei in the sample the rate of decay is slower. We can also say that dn by dt, uh, this is equal to lambda n. Lambda is constant of proportionality or simply you can understand this is radioactive decay constant. We also use the negative sign in front of lambda. This negative sign, we need to understand what is the significance of this negative sign. This negative sign simply tells us that the number of nuclei in the sample decrease with time. It simply means that the number of undecayed nuclei, we can simply say number of undecayed nuclei in the sample decrease with time. Number of undecayed nuclei decrease with time. If you sketch a graph between n and t, the gradient of the graph that will be negative. Let's try to write down this one in simpler form so you can have clear understanding. So first of all, we will replace dn by dt with delta n by delta t. They are representing the same thing. This is telling you delta n number of nuclei decay in time interval delta t. So this delta n is the number of decayed nuclei. So this is number of decayed nuclei. So we simply write down number of decayed nuclei. You have to, to be very clear. This is number of decayed nuclei. But N here it is representing number of undecayed nuclei. So this thing you need to understand. And delta T simply this is time interval. So we can say this is time interval. So this is time interval. Now we can write down our formula in this form. We can say delta n by delta t. This is equal to negative lambda times n. Now if we write down lambda on left side, we can say lambda is equal to delta n by delta t divided by n. And the negative sign is here. So this is delta n by delta t. Now we can also rearrange this one in a little bit different form this n we can bring here so this is delta n by n and this is divided by delta t we have negative sign here now you need to understand what is delta n by n so delta n is the number of nuclei decayed and n is the total number of nuclei in the sample so simply you can also understand this one in a simple language delta n is representing success means the number of nuclei decayed n is the sample size so n is the sample size so this is in fact probability so simply this we can replace with probability so lambda i can simply say this is equal to probability of decay uh, because delta n by n is representing the probability of decay so lambda is equal to probability of decay per time. So divided by time. So we have time here. So this is how we can define decay constant. I have already written here. So you can see probability of decay. If you write down this one, you get one mark. And this is a mark means you must write down this. And the second mark is if you have written per unit time, you will get the second mark. So this question has two marks in total and this is how you need to write down the final answer. For part B, mass of the sample is given and mass of the sample is 5.87 times 10 to negative 10 kg and activity of the sample is given and this is in BQ. 
dq is number of decays per second and the unit for decay constant also has to be per second so it means we no need to convert bq into any other unit question is asking us to determine decay constant so simply we can start from here from very basic equation a is equal to lambda n in this case we will not use negative sign because we just need to do calculations so we no need to worry about negative sign now if we rearrange this one we can say lambda is equal to a over n a is given so activity is given here so simply we can plug in here uh, but the problem is that we don't have number of nuclei so the question is that how we can calculate number of nuclei in order to calculate number of nuclei you can first try by yourself you can take some time how you will calculate number of nuclei and then you can look at my solution means my answer how i will calculate number of nuclei so take some time pause the video and do first by yourself now let me explain to you if you have tried this one so number of nuclei simply you can calculate by dividing mass of sample means the total mass of sample divided by the mass of single nucleus so simply we can say mass of a nucleus means mass of one nucleus let's say the mass of sample this is equal to capital m and the mass of nucleus is small m now again problem is that how we can find the mass of nucleus so let me explain you first of all with one simple example let's say we have carbon 12 how we can find the mass of carbon 12 the mass of carbon 12 will be equal to its mass number times u means it will be equal to 12 u so simply we, we can say it is equal to the mass number or you can say uh, this is equal to nucleon number multiplied by u so this is the nuclear number so i'm writing here the mass of nucleus this is nucleon number times u so this is m so we can write down here this is the mass of the sample you have to divide this one by nucleon number and you have to multiply this one with u means simply mass number times u so nuclear number times u and this one now we can use here so we can say this is the activity divided by this one so this is divided by mass of the sample divided by nucleon number so here we have nucleon number times u so nucleon number times u we can rearrange this now and we can write down this will be a times nuclear number so here we have a times nuclear number so this is nucleon number times u so this is u this is divided by mass of the sample now activity of the sample is given so simply we can write down activity of the sample that is 2.92 times 10 to 9 this is activity of the sample and the nuclear number of this nucleus is given that is 131 and u is 1 amu and 1 amu is simply equal to 1.66 times 10 to negative 27 you can also find this one in data uh, this is given in your paper so simply we can write on 1u is equal to 1.66 times 10 to negative 7 kgs divided by the mass of the sample mass of the sample is 5.87 times 10 to negative 10 and if we solve this one value of lambda will be 1.08 times 10 to 6 per second so this is our final answer 1.08 times 10 to negative 6 per second and this is our final answer this question has three marks first mark you will get if you have written this formula you will get the first mark and the second mark you will get if you have written the mass of the nucleus means mass of one nucleus this is equal to this means nuclear number times u so if you have used this one you will get second mark and the second is also the c mark so if you have mentioned this you will get the second mark so simply and actually the c mark will be for this one 
the second CMOT is for this. If you have figured out how to calculate the number of nuclei, you will get the second mark. So this is the second mark. And the last mark is for the answer mark. If you have got the right answer, you will get third mark. So this is how marks will be distributed. For part C, question is asking us to suggest two reasons why a detector placed near to the sample in B record a count rate much less than 2.92 times 10 to 9 counts per second. Actually, this is activity of the sample that is given in part B. So we have to explain that why the recorded count rate. So simply we can say why recorded count rate by detector this is much less than actual count rate means the activity of the sample so simply you can understand actual count rate means the activity of the sample so this is actual count rate we need to explain why this is less than so imagine that we have a detector first of all so let's say this is detector we place one detector here so this is detector so this is detector and we place one sample here so imagine that this is sample radioactive substance sample so this radioactive substance this will emit radiations in all directions so when it will emit radiations they will go in all directions so they will not go in one direction so this detector it will only detect radiations reaching this one so this is one reason so we can say radioactive sample emit radiations in all directions but this detector will only detect radiations reaching the detector so that's reason the activity of this one will be much greater than the count rate detected by this detector so this is one reason and the second reason we can say as these radiations they travel from here to the detector there is a gap between these two so some of radiations will be absorbed by air so that's reason count rate will be less than activity and some radiations also will be absorbed by the window of the detector so this also will cause decrease in count rate we can also say that detector is not efficient enough means detector cannot detect all the radiations reaching this detector or we can say this detector has dead time so about detector you can also mention you can say detector has dead time so one thing you can say detector has dead time or you can say detector is not efficient enough so you can say detector is inefficient so you have to write just two points so you can say sample emit radiations in all directions so all the radiations cannot reach detector so you will get one mark and the second mark you can say that some of the radiation they are absorbed by air because between detector and sample is air and air can absorb alpha radiation so some radiations will be absorbed and you can also say that some radiations maybe they are absorbed by the window of the detector so if you write down these points you will get two marks even you can also mention about dead time of counter means the dead time of detector so let me show you how you can write down your answer in a proper way so this is how you can write down your answer i have mentioned these points if you have written these points or you have understanding of these points you will get two marks only you need to mention two points so you can mention this one point you can men mention this one this is the second point but here you can see there are four points self-absorption wi within the source this also can be the cause of less count rate or uh, you can say dead time or inefficient detector so if you write on any two points you will get two marks so first two points are very easy to understand so you can focus on first two